Hello, what is good people? My name is John Denton and yes, we're back doing another Frank Ocean project here on the channel and it is endless. I know that this is the album that he sort of dropped before he finessed his label and went off to go and uh, do other stuff, went off to go and drop Blonde. A very interesting situation and I must say if you guys are able to actually watch this video that means I've managed to finesse the extremely difficult blocking stuff that's going on with these Frank Ocean <laughs> videos. Right, before we start, I just want to hand over to today's promoted artist. Let me know what you think down below. Okay, let's get on with it. Quickly before we start, if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I'm going on a journey to the past, present and future, basically of all music. And at the moment, it is Frank Ocean season. So also let me know down below what you think of this project and also whatever else I need to do. Bear in mind that Endless will be followed up by Nostalgia Ultra this week if we can get past the blocking demons. Also bear in mind, quickly before I start, I see some of these tracks are like 20 seconds long. If I get a bit confused about what tracks what, bear with me, please understand and you know your boy's just doing his best out here your boy's doing his best out here but i know we're going to start with at your best you are love when I feel what I feel, sometimes it's hard to tell you so there are times when I find you Right, it's probably illegal to, to have stopped it at soon, but I've got to kick back the chair. You've got to kick back the chair. Early doors on this one. So I'm reading this is a cover of an Aaliyah song, which is a cover of an Isley Brothers song. I don't think I've ever heard either version. I don't remember Aaliyah's version of this making it over to the UK. If it did, it, it, I don't remember it. So, um, obviously, you know, you have the undertones there, everything that, that happened to poor Aaliyah. But, I mean, just the voice. As a plane goes overhead, I mean, Frank's voice is soars higher than that plane. Taking place before this love affair began. But if you You can kind of tell it is a cover because structurally it's quite different to Frank's other music. It feels like it falls more into um, a sort of classic soul R&B structure uh, as opposed to Frank's music which tends to be much more formless. You think it's going in. Tell me what it is. This is more this is more like the Frank that I know that that like that very old piano that's really low down in the mix sounds like the type of crappy piano that you'd find in somebody's house that never gets played. And then we've got some synths coming in now. Uh, I love the way when you're listening to this on headphones as well, it's moving between the left and right channels as a, as a back and forth. The, yeah, I like the first song because the voice was stunning, obviously. But yeah, this is more the Frank that I want to know. It, it, the, the more formless, the more structureless, the more um, experimental Frank. Oh, 
Then mine is like 30 seconds long. Right into Unity. My head fatiguing off the opus, kept it underground to focus. I feel afterlife, six under oath, don't want no hocus pocus. Niggas trying to go pop, I draw contact with my face mask, nothing but nothing but net. Is you Roger or Novak? First in tears on the shoulder and it's so cold. <laughs> I have perused the moment on my own. I didn't burst into tears though. Uh, loved the uh, nothing but nothing but net is you Roger or Novak. A little tennis reference in there. Cause he's sculpture. Where's the shopman? Ayahuasca, Aya, WhatsApp him for atonement. I never ever trust the pre-roll. Came through with the group ponds, cooking with the grease now. Chocolate fries and chalula. Are you slowing down or you're holding down? Whoever held you down. Whoever I'd like to hear uh, Frank rap more because we hold him on oldie and now here and, and he's fantastic he's absolutely fantastic and obviously he still manages to maintain that tone in the voice uh, when this song started I popped the shows on because I thought we were going off singing again very very different from what I'm used to for Frank but he, 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 it's effortless to him he, it's, it's just it's just the same standard as the singing Peace Chirac, Palestine, Lodge Iberville, 1995 Bell Nacho, Shell Tackle, Crunch Crackle, Green Emerald Same way, it's 11 seconds, let's let that ride Cause you're beautiful and you're young, you deserve to have the best in life Kept it faded on the sides, we were seeing someone We was dating on the side, he was seeing double Got the dick feeling like a power tool Then I'm over Nigga, out his mama house now, that's a power move That's what I gotta do it's all over the place, this middle bit. Okay, into Wither, a proper song now. Put a hole in the ground In both our hands are filthy Pointing up at the moon All tonight I hold you close I spring wind flowers Song sounds like he's recorded it in here Hold up, get to see my color Know that I've enjoyed sunshine Uh, Wither, Wither was a nice song. Obviously, their very lo-fi recording sounded like it was being recorded in a bathroom. Yeah, you can see that this is obviously a far more experimental, quickly put together, all over the place sort of record to do exactly what it did to get out of the deal, right? But there's still moments of beauty on there, but it's clearly not as expertly crafted and polished and fine-tuned as Blonde or the Channel Orange. Doesn't mean I'm not enjoying it, I am enjoying it, of course. Uh, I, I hope, I mean, we've still got plenty of tracks to go. It's kind of hard because some of these tracks are so short, they're, we're jumping in between them. Uh, but that's not what music was designed for. It wasn't designed for somebody to sit and listen and pause it all the time and talk. But that's fine. So as we move into to the second half of the record, just, yeah, hoping for, for a few more very strong tracks. Try to love the one you somewhere now I mean this really is absolutely all over the place
to slide on me. Bass in there sounded like a Travis Scott track. And then you got the nice little acoustic guitar, almost sounded like an old like sting joint or something like that. Always fighting with them, you grew up with. Actually, when you look it does sound like the police actually his voice here. You don't cry, but you low key sad to see key. Tell him I ain't gone. Well, I Again, this is not an easy uh, piece of music to react to. It is all over the place. I understand how it was distributed. I understand how it came out. I do understand basically the story behind the whole situation now. The safety off in it, and we finna have a minute. Out of wedlock, I forgive it. I'll lead a stage, watch it from the audience. That we sell a big out next week. It's kind of a Bon Ivo vibe, like new Bon Ivo. So much of this is Frank at his most experimental that I've heard. Frank at his most unusual. Frank at his most difficult, almost. Um, it's it's every single sort of slice of music, which is kind of what this is—a bunch of slices. I'm enjoying. Rushes. Okay, this is three minutes. Let's go, Frank. Again, another kind of formless, structureless, like a fancy. Every time a song like that threatens to, to have some sort of structure and threatens to, to go somewhere, it moves off in a different direction. And I get it, it's supposed to be part of a visual album. It's not traditional and it's not supposed to be just songs. So this isn't even a criticism, I'm enjoying hearing it. But there's also the part of me that wants to be reacting and trying to add, trying to add some commentary, trying to add whatever insight I can give to the music. Where in actual fact, I'm just a uh, whole time. I feel like I'm trying to grabbing for where Frank's going, and obviously it turns out Frank was going to releasing a 10 out of 10 classic album a day later. So we all know where Frank was going now. So trying to put myself into the position of somebody listening to it at the time, with perhaps not knowing that that was coming. Is very interesting. Uh, uh, there was certainly a lot of beauty in that track. I like Frank at his formless, I like Frank at his structureless, but this is perhaps a step too far to really, really hit home emotionally. Doesn't mean I don't like it, I do like it. I am enjoying this, it, it, it's gorgeous to listen to, but I think it's fair to say that obviously it isn't quite on the levels of the others, but why should it be or why would it be? It wouldn't be. Okay, Rush is two.
That was great. I really just enjoyed the instrumental. It was nice to get lost to. Okay, into Higgs now. Ooh, that's a good start. Into life outside we've been in this room too long Recreation is keeping us self-contained and aware of our versions of mothers So new me, it's so new having you around Here we go and we miss box of legends on Behind wet faces, let my pants back on ah, The street lights on before the daylight's gone I was born by life thoughts They don't compare, no not at And the facts of God breaks us At least we did us. For the transition, obviously, that was absolutely stunning. Stunning when Frank's in that, like when he just goes into that high register, but with the fucking heart. Oh man, it's like, almost like a religious experience, honestly. I mean, I know you guys know that, but it, it, it just blows you away. I know that song was about sex and, you know, very, very sort of intimate feelings with a lover. But at the same time, you can just go a feeling and disappear into, into all the arrangement all the layers of vocals, the stripped back guitar combined with that, and then just the fucking power of the voice. It, it takes you somewhere, it transports you. It, 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 it's physical, it's visceral, I can actually feel it. That's always... To hear a song like that makes the whole experience worthwhile anyway. Not that it wasn't worthwhile, I've enjoyed all of this. You know, It's always a pleasure just to hear Frank sing and to hear the music that he arranges, but... There you go, you go with a high point like that, which could have been plucked from either of the other albums and been standouts on those as well. Just makes you realise how lucky we are. We are, how lucky we are to have this guy making music for us. And personally, how lucky I am that I've had the opportunity to go and listen to all his music. When quite honestly, I've said this on other records, I probably wouldn't have. Because it just wouldn't have come into to my world where, you know... Oh, just before I went on this journey, yeah, of course, I was listening to music, but I, I, it's not at the same level, and your life just gets incredibly busy, and I think that's a lesson for us all, you know, especially as we get older and different things come into our lives, and music becomes less of a prevalent thing. It happens to so many people. It certainly happened to me before this, and it's so important, I think, if you are a fan of music and you are a lover of music, true lover of music, to make sure that, to, to put in your effort to stay listening to new artists and discovering new music and you know perhaps keeping track of channels like mine and and others just so you're not missing out because goodness me I would have been to the thought I could have missed out on a song like that or a song like Bad Religion or you know a song like Ivy and never have heard it in my life and never have heard it properly listening on good headphones not just randomly in some random person's car or in the background of some film or something like that if it ever got a soundtrack like that but listening but listening and in, in an intimate setting like this, it's it would be so devastating to the thought of not having been able to do that, even though I would have never have known. So that's what I urge to to you guys. You know, I know a lot of people who watch these videos are a lot younger than my, me, and they're still very much in that music world. You know, that's your number one thing, and that's beautiful. But as life gets on, as you know, maybe family, kids, work, all that sort of stuff comes into your life. Please, if you are a lover of music and something, you know, music can touch you and change you and make you feel and make you live, 
please, please don't lose sight of that. Please find a new artist. Don't just get stuck in your way. Don't just get stuck in the music that you liked when you were 22 or when you were 16 and, and force yourself out of your comfort zone because you can have moments like I just had then regularly, like I've had for the last 18 months, hearing all this new music, discovering all this new music. So that's my urge to you as your fucking grown-up old dad over here. Right, into the final track, Mitsubishi Sony, but well, we'll let it ride a little bit first. That was absolutely all over the place and it kind of summed up the the album as a whole. Just, you know, chance to... Whenever you think you're getting a grasp of what's happening, it just goes in a completely different direction. Really good, though. That sounded fantastic. I'd like to have heard that as part of a proper song, that second beat after the switch up. Obviously, as I said, I think I've explained myself fairly well on the thing. It's very difficult to get a hold of what was happening, but I understand why that is. I understand what this is. I understand what happened um, I'm actually going to go and do a bit more reading now so I really get a full picture of what happened um, with Frank's situation three years ago. Pretty much three years ago, exactly. Uh, obviously, the standout track is Higgs. Uh, Unity was fantastic. Sign on Me was fantastic. Rushes was very good. And then there was just a lot of experimental, unusual things that were taking me different places. Very, very glad I heard it. Higgs is going to go onto like permanent playlist forever. That, that, that's another absolutely classic track from Frank Ocean and one of the most beautiful artists the world has ever given us, quite honestly. Uh, I'm excited to go and do Nostalgia Ultra, and I know he has some singles as well. So not only I want you guys to let me know your thoughts on this reaction, let me know your thoughts on this project, but please do let me know down below the singles that are not any projects that I need to do. We are fighting the blocking demons on these. So things may go up, they may disappear. It's a killer. My channel Orange was going way for 100k. It got taken back down again. It's still there now. That's just the way these things are, but I still want to do it. I still wanted this to be an essential part of the channel, Frank Season. So that's about it. If you are new, please do remember to subscribe. Um, if any of you guys out there want to put this on the Frank Ocean Reddit, I know that really does help drive the external views and that takes things to the next level. I'd really appreciate that. And that's about it, guys. I've been John Denton. Look out for the Nostalgia Ultra later this week. Again, if we can beat the blocking demons. And I'll catch you on the next video. Poof.